A shocking revelation that has captured the attention of both the media and the public, the troubling behavior of Darius Jackson towards Kiki has come to light. This unsettling pattern exposes a disturbing cycle of threats, attacks, and manipulation, raising serious concerns about the dynamics of their relationship. It shines a harsh spotlight on the often concealed issues of abuse and manipulation within personal relationships. Darius Jackson, previously renowned for his charismatic personality and public image, now faces intense scrutiny following allegations of his aggressive and manipulative behavior towards Kiki. Reports indicate a series of incidents in which Jackson displayed both verbal and physical abuse, fostering a climate of fear and distress. According to reports from US Weekly, Kiki Palmer has filed a restraining order against Darius Jackson and is seeking full custody of their son. Palmer, resolved to take legal action, accuses her former unemployed partner, Darius Dalton, of multiple attacks, some of which occurred in the presence of their child. This lawsuit serves as a testament to the gravity of the situation and the need for accountability. Initially, when Kiki first started dating Darius, many people felt uneasy about him. They described him as emanating strange and creepy vibes. As it turns out, their instincts were spot on. It has now come to light that during their relationship, and even after their breakup, Darius put Kiki through significant hardships, taking advantage of her financial resources. Prior to this, Uncle Steve had cautioned Kiki to be careful in choosing her partner, emphasizing the importance of aligning with someone who not only seeks wealth, but also has a solid plan. Uncle Steve's warnings have proven to be valid, underscoring the importance of selecting a partner wisely. On the account of some court documents filed by Kiki, she has described Darius as having displayed erratic, volatile, and dangerous behavior towards both her and their son. Kiki claims that over the past two years, Darius has assaulted her on multiple occasions, with the most recent incident taking place shortly before she filed the legal papers. Shockingly, Kiki alleges that some of these incidents occurred in the presence of their young child. Supporting her claims, Kiki has provided a written statement detailing these instances, along with security camera footage as evidence. These distressing occurrences also involved Darius damaging Kiki's personal belongings, including her eyeglasses. He went as far as throwing her possessions onto the street and withholding her car keys to prevent her from leaving. She reports that Darius used inappropriate language when talking about her in front of their child, as well as engaging in other objectionable behaviors. It was disheartening to reflect upon how people ridiculed and made jokes about Kiki Palmer's situation with her child's father without realizing the alleged acts of blackmail he was committing. This situation highlights the gravity and distressing nature of the challenges Kiki faced in her relationship. In one of the incidents mentioned in the legal filing, Kiki recounted an unsettling episode that took place around April 21st, 2022. She and Darius went out to dine at a Santa Barbara restaurant but the evening took an unexpected turn when Darius purportedly became upset, accusing Kiki of flirting with another woman. This accusation led them to cut short their dinner and promptly return to their hotel. Kiki also revealed that Darius engaged in manipulative behavior, showering her with affection, only to later become distant and cold, usually over perceived slights. If Kiki interacted with others for too long at a party or event, or even if she glanced at someone in a certain way, Darius would react with anger. He would storm off, accusing her of infidelity and of not truly loving him. Kiki describes how Darius employed gaslighting tactics, making her question and doubt herself, even when she had done nothing wrong. It's not surprising that Kiki believed ending her relationship with Darius would be crucial for her well-being. Unfortunately, it seems that his behavior intensified even more after they broke up. In reference to a recent incident following their split, Kiki provided further details that he trespassed into my home without my knowledge or consent, threatened me, then attacked me. He threw me over the couch and stole my phone when I mentioned calling the police. In this incident, Kiki observed that her sister was upstairs and her mother was on the phone. Furthermore, she mentioned that Darius expressed a desire to take their child, Leodis, with him. Fortunately, the police arrived at her home before Darius could leave. They conducted interviews with all parties involved and advised Kiki to pursue a restraining order. According to court documents, security footage obtained by Radar Online shows Darius forcefully throwing her over the couch and seizing her phone, providing compelling evidence that aligns with Kiki's testimony. She proceeded to recall another distressing incident that took place in February. 
Kiki had enthusiastically shared a picture of herself in a bikini with Darius, proudly celebrating the progress she had made in her post-pregnancy workout journey after the birth of their first child. It is worth mentioning that she had not shared this picture with anyone else or attempted to upload it on Instagram. Her sole intention was for Darius to witness her remarkable transformation. However, his response was anything but positive. On their way back home, his behavior escalated to the point where Kiki became genuinely concerned for their safety. In her statement, she expressed her deep distress over the incident. She expressed, On the drive home, I was worried that he would get into an accident because of how angry he was. Darius consumed by his anger, the rest of the evening berating her, leaving her sleepless and distraught. In light of these distressing events, Kiki is actively pursuing legal custody of her son. She has taken the necessary step of filing for a restraining order, specifically seeking protection against any potential harm. In her detailed statement, she expressed grave concern for her son's safety in the presence of his father, emphasizing Darius's volatile and jealous nature. The alarming lack of restraint Darius has exhibited, particularly with regards to his temper when their son is present, only amplifies these concerns. Consequently, Kiki has formally requested a restraining order, which mandates that Darius maintain a distance of at least 100 yards at all times. Kiki has opted not to pursue visitation rights or child support from him, as she has been shouldering both her own financial obligations and those pertaining to their child. In addition to physical protection, Kiki seeks legal safeguards, urging the court to prohibit Darius from making derogatory public statements about her, her family, or their son, whether online or otherwise. Kiki revealed that her unwavering dedication to their son, Leotis, became the catalyst for her permanent separation from Darius and her liberation from anguish. In her sworn statement, Kiki emphasized that her son holds paramount importance in her life. She firmly believed that it is crucial for Leotis to thrive in a secure and nurturing environment void of any conceivable harm. In contrast to earlier assumptions, it seems that Usher's actions at his concert were not the cause of the relationship ending, as some had speculated. Instead, it was Darius's questionable behavior online during that time that played a role. Specifically, Darius posted a tweet expressing disapproval of his baby mama's attire at Usher's concert. In this tweet, he made remarks that, it's the outfit though, Darius then proceeded to offer his insight into societal expectations within families. This tweet garnered swift attention and quickly went viral. Subsequently, Darius appended the following remarks. We live in a generation where a man in the family doesn't want the wife and mother of his kids to showcase her body to please others. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. To Kiki, this incident played a significant role in her choice to rest her case and terminate the relationship. Kiki faced criticism from certain quarters for what appeared to be a lack of respect towards both Darius and herself. However, perceptive individuals recognized Darius's tendencies of exerting control. It is noteworthy that he opted to address private matters in a public forum. Additionally, he referred to Kiki as his wife, despite the absence of a formal marriage, and the phrasing of his statements raised eyebrows. Kiki subtly conveyed her challenging time when she mass-deleted posts from her social media platforms in 22. During this period, she hinted at feeling wronged by Darius when she tweeted cryptically, anybody dating an Aquarius is strong. Considering Kiki's later revelation of Darius mistreating her for over two years, it's plausible that she was alluding to these struggles. In hindsight, the signs were there, but not immediately apparent to everyone. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that Darius should have handled his personal issues in a private manner? Or do you think it was acceptable for him to make his accusations public? We'd love to hear your opinion. Let me know in the comments section below. And if you ever need to satisfy your gossip cravings or simply want to know what to anticipate from your favorite stars and movie series, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And remember, I love you guys so much, and as always, I'll see you all in the next video.